Taylor just did it, guys. She dramatically endorsed Kamala Harris just moments after the presidential debate in one of the biggest moments of the monumental night in the 2024 race. The megastar made the bombshell announcement on Instagram after the ABC showdown where Trump accused migrants of eating pets and said Democrats wanted to execute babies in the ninth month of pregnancy. The world has been waiting for the 34-year-old Pennsylvania native to weigh in on the election after she backed Joe Biden in 2020. And she chose the first meeting between Trump and Harris to make it clear she was backing the Democrats and slammed the former president for, falsely, claiming her support with a slew of AI images. In a race that could be decided by tiny margins, Swift's endorsement could have huge ramifications on the momentum with less than eight weeks until Election Day. The Trump campaign shrugged off the endorsement, claiming it's further proof Swift is part of the Democratic elite. Swift poked fun at Republicans in her endorsement. She included a photo of her cat, a knock at Republican vice presidential nominee J.D. Vance who mocked childless cat ladies. Harris supporters took the chant to heart and formed groups of cat ladies for Harris. The singer said in her post that that she was disturbed by false reports she had endorsed Trump. I will be casting my vote for Kamala Harris and Tim Walls in the 2024 presidential election, she wrote. She signed her post, Childless Cat Lady. The Trump campaign shrugged off the endorsement, it's further evidence that the Democrat Party, unfortunately, is the party of the wealthy elite, Trump campaign spokeswoman Caroline Levitt told DailyMail.com. And Taylor Swift may make great music but she does not understand the struggles of everyday, hardworking families, and President Trump is speaking on behalf of those hardworking, struggling families who don't get the privilege, like Taylor Swift, of living in a gated community, who need their local police to be funded, who want their Second Amendment right to defend themselves and their family because they don't have armed security like Taylor Swift has. Swift has endorsed before. She backed Joe Biden in the 2020 election. And in an interview in 2019 with The Guardian, Swift said she supported Hillary Clinton over Trump in the 2016 election and accused Trump of treating the presidency like an autocracy. Her post describing her endorsement was lengthy. Like many of you, I watched the debate tonight. If you haven't already, now is a great time to do your research on the issues at hand and the stances these candidates take on the topics that matter to you the most. As a voter, I make sure to watch and read everything I can about their proposed policies and plans for this country, Swift wrote. Recently I was made aware of that AI of me falsely endorsing Donald Trump's presidential run was posted to his site. It really conjured up my fears around AI and the dangers of spreading misinformation. It brought me to the conclusion that I need to be very transparent about my actual plans for this election as a voter. The simplest way to combat misinformation is with the truth, she added. She noted that, I'm voting for a Kamala Harris because she fights for the rights and causes I believe need a warrior to champion them. I think she is a steady-handed, gifted leader and I believe we can accomplish so much more in this country if we are led by calm and not chaos. I was so heartened and impressed by her selection of running mate at Tim Walls, who has been standing up for LGBTQ plus rights, IVF, and a woman's right to her own body for decades. I've done my research and I've made my choice. Your research is all yours to do and the choice is yours to make. I also want to say, especially to first-time voters, remember that in order to vote, you have to be registered. I also find it's much easier to vote early. I'll link where to register and find early voting dates and info in my story, she wrote. She ended it. With love and hope, Taylor Swift childless cat lady, she featured her calico cat Benjamin Button. It is her third of three cats, Tim Walls learned of the endorsement in real time during an interview on MSNBC. I'm incredibly grateful to Taylor Swift, Walls said. I say that as a fellow cat owner. That's the type of courage we need in America, he added. This is an opportunity Swifties. KamalaHarris.com. Get over there. Harris stopped by a watch party after her debate with Trump. Her walk-off song was The Man by Swift.